Good evening, YouTube. This is Johnny. It's going on 6.30 here in West Michigan. It is, I think it's March the 6th. It's a Monday night here in West Michigan. It's going on 6.30 at night. It's a Monday. So this is, what this is going to be is Book Nook. Book haul, use book haul with library withdrawal number three, part three. I'm just going to show you all the books I've gotten recently from the book nook taken out of the library, uh, library withdrawals. And some of them I'm not sure if I've shown them or I've not shown them, so I'm just going to show them. If you've seen them already, forgive me, I, I can't remember. My memory is slowly decaying but I'm not sure if I showed this book uh, I library withdraw the story of yoga in America the subtle body by Stefan Samen uh, there's a chapter in here on there was a chapter here on when the Beatles, I think it was, yeah, I call it Psychedelic S Sages, page 198. It says, yeah, it deals with uh, Taj Mahal, uh, when the Beatles, the four Beatles, the Beach Boys, Mike Love, Mir Farrell, they visit the, uh, they got into yoga. So, anyway, that's why I got the book. This is another book. I'm not sure if I showed this one either. The Cure Within, The History of Mind, Body, Medicine by Anne Harrington. It's a big thing that goes on in America, this mind-body medicine. It looked really interesting. I collect books on this. I'm not going to really go into these books. I just want to show them. This is A.N. Wilson, After the Victorians, The Decline of Britain and the World by A.N. Wilson. He wrote a book called The Victorians, which I have, and this is a library withdrawal. I collect the books of A. N. Wilson. I have a lot of them. Uh, he wrote all kinds of books, just pages of books. Uh, he wrote fiction. I have the Victor of Sorrows. Uh, some of his novels I can't find in my library that I collected, but I do have his nonfiction. Uh, God's Funeral, The Victorians. Uh, he wrote a, a, a biography on Tolstoy, which I have. He wrote a biography on Jesus, which I can't find. He wrote a biography on the Apostle Paul, which I can't find. He wrote a biography on C.S. Lewis, a biography, London, A Short History. He wrote a lot of books. So I always look for his books, and this is after the Victorians. This is uh, Bacchus, or what we call it, the group, Six Masters of Modernism. Is that Bacchus or Bracchus? Can't remember now. But this is by Nicholas Fox Weber. This is on the Six Masters of Modernism. Uh, Bajas. It's Bajas group. I can't pronounce. Anyway, there are... I read this years ago and it came into the book nook and uh, I grabbed it. Uh, this book came into the book nook. Surreal Things. Surrealism and Design. Edited by Grisling Wood. I get, it's all about surrealism and design. 
uh, like art and ceramics and clothes and s sculpture and see like ceramics like that. It's just a nice book. I can't show you all of these. I'm just going to show you the. I got the dictionary of art. This is volume 34. <laughs> it's 34 volumes and they weigh at least 10, 15 pounds a piece. And the library took them out of circulation, the dictionary of art. And Mary, who runs the book nook, said, do you want them? And I said, how much do you want for them? She said, $20. That's so why I bought them, even though they weigh a ton. The Dictionary of Art. This is volume 34. This is volume 33. They weigh an absolute ton. I mean, it's even holding one of them makes my arms sore. So I got 34 volumes of the Dictionary of Art. <laughs> yeah. Really small print. But if you're really into art, you know, you all know I love art and I couldn't pass it up. So I bought them for 20 bucks and uh, just Dictionary of Art, 34 volumes. The 34th volume, I think, is the index. So it's just small print. <laughs> Anyway, and then I picked up at the book nook. These are all, this is the library where the book nook is at here in Holland. This is Toy Story, the 24 generations of the Russian history, of Russian history in 1353 to eight, 1983 by Nikolai Tolstoy. As you all know, I'm into biographies and and I got another biography of Mark Twain, the singular, singular Mark Twain by Fred Kaplan. Fred Kaplan writes a lot of biographies. I have a lot of him. I have his biography on Gore Vidal, his biography on Dickens, Henry James. And now I have his biography on Mark Twain. I have, you know, I bought a couple months ago the works of Mark Twain from the book nook. And I have a huge Mark Twain collection. And I had this in paperback, but this is a biography on Gertrude Stein. I have a small paperback, but this is a, a library withdrawal. Gertrude Stein. I have a big Gertrude Stein collection. Everybody who was anybody, a biography of Gertrude Stein. And this is by Janet Hobhouse. And uh, she was in Paris in the 20s. and very famous uh, supporter of people like James Joyce, Hemingway. She collected art. She she was an American, see, she was, but she, there's a picture of Ezra Pound, who she was a friends with. So I, I'm really, she wrote books. She wrote, um, biographies and she's like one of the mothers of modernism <laughs> this is another book on pop art lucky strike uh this is called pop uh, themes and movements edited by mark francis and al foster it's another art book a pop art as you all know, I'm into pop art. So I got that. I had this in paperback, but a hardback came in. Love Again, a novel by Dorothy Lessing. I have a huge Dorothy Lessing collection over there. Probably maybe 25 of her novels. I have her diaries and other things that she's written. 
This, I'm, I think I might have showed this, Don't Tell Dad, a memoir by Peter Fonda. This is a memoir by the actor and filmmaker and Easy Rider. You know, I was showed you Dennis Hopper. They did that movie together, Easy Rider, and this is Peter Fonda. This is Fantasy. This is Jerusalem, which was a big thing last year by Alan Moore. It came into the book nook. I'm not really into fantasy, but it was only a couple of dollars, and I thought I'd just get it. Maybe someday I'll read it. He's, you see this book, Jerusalem, by Alan Moore all the time on BookTube. This is a biography on Jonathan Swift by Victoria Glenning. I collect biographies by her, Victoria Glenning. I have her biography on Trollope. I have her biography on Rebecca West, her biography on Via, The Life of Via, Saxville West. I have her biography, Edith Sitwell, Unicorn Among the Lions, her biography on Elizabeth Bowen, Portrait of a Writer. She wrote a novel called Electricity, which I have, but she wrote this uh, Jonathan Swift, A Portrait by Victor, Victoria Glenning. Uh, Glendening, Glendening, I can't pronounce it. Uh, this is a selected letters of James Thurber. I have a huge James Thurber collection. He was a uh, cartoonist and a writer for the New Yorker magazine. And uh, this is his selected letters that came in and took out the library withdrawal. And so I got this for my James Thurber collection. Selected Letters of James Thurber, edited by Ellen Thurber and Edward Weeks. So, yeah. So I got this for my um, James Thurber collection. This is a biography on Harriet, the, the Loves of Harriet Beecher Stowe by Philip McFarland. He wrote a biography on Nathaniel Hawthorne called Nath Hawthorne and Concord. And this is a biography on Harriet Beecher Stowe who wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. She was a very famous 19th century American writer. And uh, so I grabbed this. From, I have another biography of her. Of course, I have Uncle Tom's Cabin and other writings by her. This is a book I kind of intrigued me. Toy Story's False Disciple. The Untold Story of Leo Toy Story and Vyamir Chekhov by Alexander Popov. Uh, this I got for my... Uh, Leo Tolstoy's collection. He wrote also The Wives and Sophia Tolstoy. And uh, it's by Alexandra Ponov. She's a. And yeah, Sophie's Tolstoy, The Wives, The Women Behind Russian Literary Giants, a Wall Street Journal Best Book of the Year. Contribute to the Huffington Post, the Boston Globe, the Globe and Mail, National Post. She lives in Canada. I picked this up today. I collect books on Theodore Roosevelt. I bought this today at the Book Nook, a library withdrawal. Theodore Roosevelt in the Field by Michael R. Cranefield. He was, uh, Theodore Roosevelt was not only a president, but he was a nationalist an outdoorsman, a, a hunter, and this is all about him being out in the field. He was a wilderness rider. Uh, he did safaris in Africa. He went down the Amazon River. This is all about him being out in the field, out in the world of nature and the mountains. And, you know, he lived out west. He had a ranch out west, western United States. and. So, I bought it for my Theodore Roosevelt collection. This is by Michael R. Cranefield.
I have a couple of other books. I can't pronounce this guy's name, but this is it's like an urban planning. Uh, he's just an interesting writer. I have other books by him, uh, which I can't find now, but I picked this up. City Life, Urban Expectations in the New World. It's another art book, Rogue's Gallery, The Rise and Occasional Fall of Art Dealers, The Hidden Players in the History of Art by Philip Hook. This is another with library withdrawal. It has nice photos in it of art and people who collected art, art dealers. It's a really nice book. Cost me, I think, $3 or $2. I like reading about the history of art, art dealers, art collectors, art museums. Uh, there's Peggy Guggenheim, who's very famous, very wealthy. She started the, the Museum of Modern Art there in New York City. I got this at 